After some searching on YouTube, I was unable to find the information I was looking for on the TSI intake manifold failures, so I decided I was going to make my own for you guys here. Uh, this one we did just replace the intake manifold on, and here is the old intake manifold. What they do have as a failure, there's multiple different versions of this failure. Some this actuator fails on, some this right here will slide out of the intake, and some of them we've got this becoming completely disconnected from the actual flaps. And then lastly, you can have the sensor at the end of the intake manifold fail. No matter what your failure is, you're looking at replacing the entire intake manifold, but I was very interested on what actually failed on this one. So I popped this arm off here, and as you can see, if you move the armature here, the flaps are not moving completely. There's like a dead spot right here. As you can see how much I move it. It's not moving the flaps at all until I get to about here, and then they kick up. And along with that, you can move the flaps a good bit with no change on the armature. More significant when you bring it down and it's locked position, it can still come up and go down. And as you can see here, with no movement of the armature at all, the flaps are completely opening and closing. Now the sensor at the end of this intake manifold was able to sense that this was not in the position commanded by the arm here, and this one did have a fault for that. First thing I did notice is that this was popped out a little bit. There is a small seal that's normally in here. I took it out just that way I can make this video go a little quicker. This is that green seal here. As you can see, the end of this has a little triangle. And I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get this to show the way I want it to. But inside that hole right there, and there's also a little triangle that actually shows really well. Now that triangle should fit inside this snug, but it seems like over the years this has gotten wallowed out a bit. And there's your problem. If you firmly push, you can get something close to the proper movement out of it, but you can still see I've got some slack here. I'm pretty confident that you were in a, if you were in a position where replacing the intake manifold was not financially viable, but you could do the labor yourself, you might be able to take this armature out, clean that hole up pretty good, get some epoxy in there, slide this guy in here, let it set up till the epoxy cures, and you might be able to get that to do what you need it to do. The hardest thing you're going to have going for you is that you cannot tell the position of the flaps at the moment that you're going to install this armature. So it would be a complete gamble, but I think I might try it on one of these here soon just so that way I know exactly what my options are going forward. This particular intake, the solenoid that's down under here was working fine. This, was, this vacuum actuator was pulling the arms completely fine. And at the time that I initially looked at the intake while it was still in the car, this was not popped out. I popped this out just to be able to show you guys quick in the video here how this all operates. But that is the Volkswagen TSI 2.0 turbo intake manifold failure and what actually fails.